May 14th, 2003. Finally a correctly dated one. And with good reason, because this is a letter to the East Lyme Board of Education members. <clears throat> Dear East Lyme Board of Education members, I have a concern. A concern about the dress code. I don't think we should have a dress code. Yet, I think we should have limits to what we wear and changes I'd make. So maybe a dress code. Maybe a dress code. <laughs> I do not think we should have a dress code because it takes away, and it says the, but I've crossed it out, our personality. It's a way the creativity you have. It sort of takes away part of the concept of who you are as a person. Getting deep. I won't say it takes away all your freedom. Okay. <laughs> it can take away freedom of speech, though. Okay. Well, then don't say the sentence. <laughs> you, you can describe who you are in what you wear. Off to a really good start. I do not think we should wear anything, though. I think we should have limits. I don't think we should wear anything. I don't think we should wear, I don't think we should wear anything, though. I don't think anybody will have a problem with that. Um, we should not advertise drugs or beer, alcohol in parentheses next to the beer. I don't think we should have foul language, either. These things should not be on anybody's clothing. No skin should be showing, parentheses, belly buttons, etc. I, like, I can tell you, in 2003, I was probably dying to see a belly button. <laughs> and, my, like, so to, th I want, <laughs> never mind. No skin should be showing. No skin should be showing, parentheses, belly buttons, etc. And parentheses, no spaghetti straps. Just wait till you see. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I jumped the gun. No spaghetti strap tank tops, either. Not spaghetti straps. Tank tops. Regular spaghetti straps. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's only a few changes I would make. To what? The dress code? My dress code? My limits? I think sleeveless shirts are okay. It is not falling off your shoulder or anything. Who am I trying to represent here? <laughs> I wasn't wearing that at all. You know, that was, and that's a, this is a good place for me to plug Kyle's concert t shirt <laughs> I didn't even say the name right. Consul Kyle's Concert Teastery. I don't know my own brand. Um, I think we should have hat day at least two times a month. And two times is 2x. It isn't that bad to wear a hat. It isn't that bad to wear a hat. Please give us hat day once more per month. Please. I'm begging you. Me and my hats. Oh, I love hat day. <laughs> it was truly the best. I would like to thank you for listening to my speech. When I <laughs> thanks again, sincerely, Kyle cooked the print in cursive, and then Kyle cooked it in print. I thank them. I would like to thank you for listening to my speech. Thanks again. I think I still probably do that. I think I probably overly thank people in uh, my letters. So at least that stuck with me and not my inability to explain anything. This is persu this is a persuasive writing prompt. And um, I got a five. It's out of six. A five out of six? Yeah, I, I got a five out of six. Good, but needs more specific detail than general. Go, go figure. I don't know I don't know what or who you're trying to persuade. The East Line Board of Education members. If anybody needs any tips Keep or suggestions. The same, but I don't agree with it. Yeah. If anybody needs me, I can be very neutral. 